so for me any kind of hardship any kind of hostile environment i take it as a challenge i never run away from any kind of defeat i never walk out from any kind of failure and learning is a continuous process and i know that today if i fail tomorrow i'm going to win it is not about it's not just about what i'm going through but right from my childhood this is what i told myself be a dreamer you don't lose anything at this age when you're in teens when you're just in early 20s you will go through a lot of things you'll go through humiliation would i be successful you have many kind of doubts speculations but one thing be very clear no matter what you gonna achieve it all the failures every possible negative situation you can turn it into a positive manner and you can pave the path for success and it is about so many people every day do uh, what i do is i do a little bit every of everything i have a 5 year plan a 10 year plan a 20 year plan whether i achieve it or not i keep on pursuing i keep on doing that hard work i never run away from any kind of negative situation and also you have to have a very strong moral code of yours what is what are your rights and what are your wrongs what is your code of conduct legally you might be right but morally one could be wrong so it is about you try to have your own moral compass it is not don't try to i don't for example when i was doing my intermediate i had a chance to pass the exam by taking some slips and my friends were copying i was looking at it i would have passed but i thought would i feel good by the end of the day suddenly i remembered mohandas karamchand gandhi ji's life uh, life lesson when he tried to copy in a school and he said no to it so i took the example of gandhi ji and never copied i failed i didn't succeed but i failed i took that failure in a dignity rather than coming in a cutting in a shortcut way and achieving exam results good results i prefer to be a failure with honesty so that's what i believe because you have to have a very strong moral compass so what are you, what are your moral guidelines what would be you would be planning to achieve in which way don't have any kind of shortcuts in life shortcuts might be giving you an edge for a time being eventually you would ca- you would get caught up with your wrongs so i advise you i request you don't cut short don't try to take shortcuts in life face the hardships face the difficulties and you would be a better person society has so many intellectual so many capable people and you know about the first father of nuclear bomb oppenheimer technology and innovation should have a human face we should have empathy and oppenheimer after blasting the first nuclear bomb he said we have unleashed death i have become the death merchant and that kind of technology would will never make us happy it is about a simple invention a simple app which would better lives for example 